Eric says, I just wish the team PvP stuff could have been separated so at least it would remain unchanged in its current state rather than changing along with a lot of the TC changes 1v1. Now we could turn it off. <laughs> we could just turn off team PvP. I feel like we're still at a point where knives and players refuse to fact Jew counters. Come on, man. That's not cool. Heal counters. There we go. All right. Uh, and it, 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 But I, I would say that it's probably at least as true as the fact that some players refuse to pack heals. Right? I think if more players packed heals, not to, you know, not to, to stall, but the size of it. Look at the size of that mander. <laughs> it's huge. He's huge. Maybe swap life trap convert with death's blade convert. So life converts blades to the blades with death converts traps to blades. Probably not. That would kind of break the Rochambeau. Will we ever get the resist limit increased? Definitely not. Definitely not. It's it's more likely to go the opposite direction. <laughs> I know Wiz is ready to E10, but most of the death spells aren't scary. I think the Orthrus Moon is the only scary thing, and that's a myth spell. It's even scarier. <laughs> it's back to scary with the face. <laughs> yeah, they're not supposed to be scary. Who says necromancy has to be scary? Have you come to taunt me? I thought I had killed you, dog. <laughs> oh, I love it. Uh, any future changes to Beguile? I mean, I'd like it to work. That would be nice. You manners, feathered fool. Give me one last case of combat before Moth kills me. Oh, I love him so much. I think Mandar is the only reason I love the Miria. It's pretty good. Go rattle his skull for me. The dog deserves far worse. Lord have mercy. Excelsior, why do you think banning the Jade Hat specifically would be a good start? I think I know the answer. And although I think you're wrong, I think you're probably directionally correct. It's not entirely true. Your kind of because the the bonus resist counters you the pierce. See, not everybody has not everybody has the same amount of resist to counter pierce. Like so. we'll I think people are just more upset about healing. I I maybe yeah. Prince Hendrix says I just hope if gear like Jade gets nerfed or banned, it's only for PvP. There's two different things that you mentioned there. First of all, if it's going to be nerfed, it's because it's over the over the stat limits that we want for the game in general. Um, so, you know, as we do our gear audit, stuff that's over the, over our desired level for any any given stat, um, that would apply across the whole. It would be better to ask Kylie Nor or Wolf what changes they would implement. Better to ask the actual days. Uh, I think not. That would be an absolutely unnecessary course of action. People don't understand that if you nerf healing and Jake gear, then you hurt team PvP and life. Uh, no, that is not true. That is only partially true. Um, and first of all, Team PvP is not a consideration at this time. Team PvP has way, way, way more things to uh, to resolve. Yeah. Team PvP has has action economy issues first and foremost. That is the main thing we have to address with Team PvP. So, and that'll be way downstream of of one v one basically required. Well, it's required now because you, you kind of have to survive four hits in a row. <laughs> with, a, with a better turn order, uh, it wouldn't be as required. Eric says, I just wish the team PvP stuff could have been separated so at least it would remain unchanged in its current state rather than changing along with a lot of the TC changes 1v1. Now we could turn it off. <laughs> we could just turn off team PvP. A small niche that does team PvP has their way of going about things right now. They certainly do. Uh, and it's not it's not exclusive to Team PvP. Everybody everybody in general right now has has things that they're gonna, just going to have to adapt to. If you nerf Jade gear, then that just makes it harder to do Team PvP as a Jade. Team PvP will not be considered uh, working if Jading is required in Team PvP. That is not a thing. First time chat. Fix the game, please. I spend too much money to not want to play because of Jades and Timer exploits. I stream every morning. I stream every morning, just about every morning. Uh, today will be my last stream of the holidays, unless I just do something, you know, like, hey, you know, I feel like streaming today. Uh, but today is the last work day for me of the year. So I stream every morning. Uh, I often hear folks say, um, you know, you need to listen to other people. Uh, but I would like to point out that, uh, that I've been streaming almost every morning, regularly, for over a year, right? Uh, the only requirement uh, to coming into chat is to just kind of, you know, 
not be a jerk. <laughs> it's not a high bar. Come in, mind your manners, and uh, and ask questions, right? Or tell me your opinion. I'm here. I listen to everybody. So for two years, I've been I've been streaming almost almost every moment. So there's been plenty of time to uh, to come in and share your opinion. Play the game says I personally do not want healing here. I would argue that ice and balance just have to, have to adjust their bad matchups. It's well, no, it's it's more complicated than that. There's no counter to healing, right? Uh, it is damage is damage is bounded and healing is not bounded. Um, and healing HPP is higher than DPP. It's already times two, generally speaking. So, um, in PVE healing has to outpace damage a little bit otherwise it's never a good play but right? you'd never be able to catch up to the boss especially if you're facing more than one mob so in pve healing has to have the advantage over over damage but in pvp it's just the opposite you don't want that in PvP. um so it's already got a higher higher hpp than dpp and then it's got incoming and then it's got outgoing right so it's 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 it has a multiplicative nature Times two from the start in the HPP DPP matchup. Then there's outgoing, then there's incoming. And it just simply it, it compounds and it is not limited in the same way the damage is. So that's it. Let's see if he's as good as his word. It is it is simply outstripping damage a little bit too fast. By comparison, uh uh healing in um in Beast Moon is nothing more than, than a delaying tactic. Healing a Beast Moon is 75% of the damage, right? So if the, if the if the damage in Beast Moon is 100, a heal does 75. You, you can't outpace healing in Beast Moon. Now, Beast Moon is a different, is a different story. Right? It, has, it has different requirements. In some cases, well, first of all, it's a team sport, right? So delaying something in Beast Moon is important. Um, you know, that would not work in... Uh, um, in 1v1 PvP, you would simply, if you're, if you're just delaying, you're just losing, right? The fair is healing a beast moon is to delay and keep a hitter alive for a turn longer or to revive a defeated teammate, which is unexpected. Right. Right. Play the game says, I believe it's okay, though, that healing outpaces damage. We have to make it so that if you brain through spam attacks against a life, you lose. Uh, no. No, in fact, if healing, if healing was 75%, given the timer, right? You could still do that. Um, you know, by the same token, clearly we have to make it so that brainlessly spamming healing is not the way to go. So that's kind of where we're at now. So, brainlessly, what is it? Does he brainlessly spamming I healing? Brainlessly spamming healing should be a losing one. play. Manda, the barbarian. <laughs> Since you saw it the first time, I've been imprisoned in this place. I know a way out. <laughs> All right. Okay, that's it for me today. It's 9.55. It's definitely time for me to go. 4D says, what's been my favorite project to work on? Probably Pirate. You know, back in the day, that was a lot of fun. I enjoyed working at Pirate. Um, yeah, hands down. Hands down. 